I would say that social media is sort of the backbone of everything we're doing. So, so, uh, so it's it's from you know the traditional channels of communication from top management to to employees. It's for the uh, the collaboration between people. It's for it's for handling traditional working processes, for example. But 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 actually, it's interesting that that most of the use we see today is actually related to to handling working processes and knowledge exchange amongst employees. When we, when we do research on this, we, we say that a lot of the employees are getting up more productive. And, and, and of course, you need to know the context. We are a knowledge-driven organization. So for me to get more productive, I need easy access to knowledge and, uh, and I need to be able to act, uh, act upon knowledge. Using the social media inside IBM makes it very easy for me because I'm tagged as a person. You know, we put on a, a tag on my specific knowledge or competences, for example, and, 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 and other people are exactly the same. So I can make a sort of a cut between all of this sea of information and, and, and very f quickly find people, documents, communities, wikis and so on, which is within my, my, my knowledge area, making me extremely productive, actually. So fundamental criteria for making this work, I think, of course, culture is number one, definitely. So, so it's, it's important to remember that IBM has sort of grown on a research culture. So, so we, we spend $6 billion a year on, on research, research and development. It's part of our sort of our DNA, our core, the, the way that the organization is working. We have approximately 200,000 people in what we call the technical community, which is people working in, in uh, sort of professional areas, various uh, areas of technology and solutions and so on. And, and this group of people are extremely dependent on the ability to share knowledge and to capture knowledge from, from the, uh, other people also. So, so this is sort of the backbone of, of making this, this a success. The other thing is that IBM is it's a very old organization, more than 100 years old. And, and you, might, you might wonder why, why didn't we die uh, when the dot-com crisis uh, uh, struck us and so on. But actually what IBM is able to, able to do is, is to transform ourselves every, every 15, 10, 15, 20 years, getting into new markets, uh, changing the culture and so on. And to be able to do that, you need very powerful internal communication to be able to make this transformation into something new, whatever that is, every time we sort of transform ourselves. And, and top-level management communication is very important here. Yeah. So actually, what I, what I see in our social media is I, I don't get a lot of information from my direct manager. My direct manager is a sort of an administrative person. But I get a lot of communication from my various leaders in the uh, knowledge field I work in, at the global level and so on, and at various initiatives I follow. And using the internal social media in IBM, it's actually very easy for them to, to make this communication directly. And they are, first of all, very visible and they're listening. So, so I can actually engage into a dialogue with the management. I can engage into a dialogue with, with anybody in the organization if I want to, and people actually do this, um, making sort of the, the social media, internal social media environment a living orga organism, which is developing all of the time. So, so, so it's, I would say it's, it's part of our DNA. It's, it's the way that IBM is working, and the, the social media platform is supporting this in a very nice way.